All right, guys, so a question came in and the person is designing and once they design, the size of the file changes. So they're designing inside of Illustrator. So I thought it'd be cool to make a video because there might be others who have the same issue. I know exactly what the issue is. Um, and I actually mentioned it in another video, but it's super easy to miss it when you're in the midst of um, designing. So here's what happens. So if I take and I open, um, let me go to file, let me open. I already put those two files in my download folder. So I'm gonna go to open, I'm gonna go to downloads and um, I named them toss so I would know the difference in the two. Those are the ones I was playing with before. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open the 12 ounce file. And I can actually show you this in just one. And I'm gonna open the 15 ounce file though, just so I can show you both. Sorry, notifications are on. All right, 15 ounce file. Okay, so both of these files are open. They're both in their own little tab. So what happens is if I want to, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm designing this and I wanna do some really, really cool stuff. So let's say I, I'm gonna add a polygon tool to it. I'm gonna change the color of that and make it pink. Okay, so I'm gonna get this polygon tool. And um, I'm gonna duplicate it. Yeah, this is what I wanna do to it because, you know, this is just gonna be awesome. Okay, I'm gonna do these, I'm gonna do these. But then in the process of me doing this, right? Let's say I go over here, so I'm gonna grab this one and I'm gonna grab a different shape. And I don't have to do all this to illustrate the point, but I'm just trying to, you know. And let's say I was playing over here um, just to see what each thing does. Um, maybe I made a cool little different logo. Maybe I wanted to take the chunk out of this to make a different shape. So, you know, whatever it is that I decide to do, and I'm just gonna do something like that. So let's say I had this over here and I wasn't sure if I wanted to use it or not. I just made a compound pass real quick. Um, but I just have it over here just in case. So. What I do, I'm gonna, um, and my says, this is my artboard. So right here, this white edge, or sorry, the black uh, stroke around the last edge is my artboard. And this is the edge of the information that's inside of the artboard. That's what I wanna export, is that information on the inside of the artboard. All right, so with just the 12 ounce, because it'll work with both, I'm gonna go ahead and file, and I'm gonna go, um, and save as, and I'm gonna save this as, um, I'm gonna do the 12 ounce toss. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, and I'm just saving over what I had here before. So I'm gonna do 12 ounce toss. So whatever you wanna name it, um, I'll do toss one. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, all right, everything looks good, I'm gonna hit save. Then I, it's gonna ask me I wanna replace, that's because I already have one in there. All of these are fine. These settings, I'm gonna hit okay. Okay, so then when I go into design space and I go to bring that image in, I'm gonna go to upload image and I'm gonna hit browse and then I'm gonna hit toss and I'm gonna hit okay. Okay, so notice all of that information is here for me. So when I go to upload it and I go into uh, bring it into design space, and now we look at the size, this size is huge. It is 16.286, okay? Now, I'm gonna continue with this just to, so I'm gonna go back to um, Illustrator and I'm be like, man, what, what happened? I don't want all that other stuff, right? So remember, this is the artboard. So when I, I'm gonna go back to File, I'm gonna go back to Save As. This time though, I know that I only want the stuff that's inside of the artboard, but Illustrator sees everything. So Illustrator is like, no, you want me to bring everything in. I see everything around. I'm gonna bring everything in. I'm not gonna cut stuff because I don't know what you want me to cut. We have to tell Illustrator what we want it to cut. So down here where it says use artboards, you need to click that. Um, and then however many artboards you have, you can either do all the artboards or if you have multiple ones, or you can just do one. Right now, we only have one artboard, so it makes sense to just go ahead and say use artboards, okay? And then when I go to save it, um, 
it's asking me, do I want to replace it? But you know, actually, yeah, yeah, we'll replace it. I made it replace. Okay, and I'm hit OK. And now I'm going to go back into Design Space. And now I'm going to go to Upload. And I'm going to go to Upload Image. I'm going to browse for it. I'm going to grab this number one. And now notice it's only bringing the things that are attached to the artboard. It didn't bring everything on the outside of that. It bought the things that are attached to the artboard. So cool. So I'm going to hit upload. And then I'm going to bring it in to design space. Uh, I'm going to go to insert image. Okay. So now notice this one came in. This is the second one. And it's the stuff that's attached to the artboard, right? So it's bringing in everything attached to the artboard. And we look at the size, and the size is still a little too big. So here's where we have to um, change some things. So this is because it's inside the artboard. What I'm going to do is bring these items inside of the item that, listen, you guys are going to pretend this is the most beautiful thing you've seen in your life. You just we're pretending guys and I want to make sure I'm inside of my boundary see how I'm outside of that boundary that means I'm going into that area that safe area that we want to make sure it's safe that cricket wants us to make sure we're safe in so I'm gonna bring this one in I'm gonna bring this in okay now this is still outside of my artboard right because I want to use this later typically I would probably delete I'm sorry my artboard my pasteboard typically I would delete the items that are on the pasteboard but let's just say I'm working on a design and I want to keep that and I don't want to lose it so I can either hide the layer oops I can either hide the layer um, or I can keep it here because I know how to make sure that that part does not um, come into play right so I'm just gonna go to file save as and now I'm gonna choose use our boards. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the same one. I'm going to hit replace. And then I'm going to hit OK. And then when I go, it's going to ask me, I want to replace. And sure. So when I go into Cricut Design Space, and now I upload that image. Browse for it. Give me this one. And I hit upload. <clears throat> and now I'm going to select that. Notice it didn't bring in that other image. I'm going to hit insert images. And now when I select this, notice it is the exact size that I want it to be. So I show you this to show you that if you bring it in and you this one was if you did not select um, the artboard, then it's going to bring in everything outside of the pasteboard, including the stuff that is attached to the outside of the boundaries. If I choose. If I have stuff still outside of the boundaries, but I choose artboard, it's only grabbing the stuff that is connected to that artboard. And then if I make sure everything is that I want to print is on the inside of the artboard, then it constrains it to the size that we need it to be. And it's adhering to those boundaries. And it's only printing the area of this outline, which is that 10 point three one one if it's um, a 12 ounce mug. So the same will work for the 15 ounce mug as well, um, but I just want to make sure you guys got it. So I'm going to go back to Illustrator since I had that 15 ounce open and I'm going to go to the 15 ounce mug. <clears throat> and so in this one, I'm going to give it, you know, some stars. Um, maybe we'll give it a line. You know, you guys know the routine. You can actually stop watching the video now if you're ready um, because you got everything you need to know. I'm just going to make sure that this point is, you know, is uh, it's reinforced. All right. So let's say I want stars. So in Illustrator, I'm in the 15 ounce mug and this time I'm going to save it the way that I know how to save it. So I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go to save as and you can export it as well. Either one um, is going to work for you, but save as um, um, is what I'm going to do uh, for this one. So I'm going to file save as, and then I'm going to go down here and make sure I have artboard selected. Um, then I want to name toss. Okay. So now that I have it selected, I'm hit save. And it's going to ask me when I replace it. And I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to go into design space. And then I'm going to upload that 15 ounce mug, browse for it. And the 15 ounce should be, um, 
I forgot the size <laughs> of my fan, but 0.71 <clears throat> um, should be the size. So I'm going to hit uh, upload, click on this, bring it inside, and there's my 15 ounce mug. Oops, 15 ounce mug right here. And it is the size, 10.761. That's the number I couldn't remember. 10.761 um, is the 15 ounce, and it is the correct size, and it is bringing in that star. Wait a minute, didn't I have more stars? A different color? That's interesting. Did I grab the wrong file? I might have, knowing me. Let me see. Um, let me upload. Upload image. I just want to make sure I have the right one. I mean, either one is going to be the same, but there we go. <clears throat> All right, so just so that you guys can see. All right, that was one of the ones I was playing with earlier. I'm going to hit upload. And now I'll click on it. I'll insert that image inside the design space. And here it is at the size 7 point, sorry, 10.761. Yep, 10.761. All right, so there you have it. The real winner in this in making sure that if you grab my template and you put a design on it that you actually go into um in illustrator when you're actually saving it your best friend is to make sure um that you check that use artboards and that is what's going to make sure that it stays inside of this um of this outline uh, that you have set up. So hopefully that helps you guys. Um, if you need other videos, just let me know. And I am happy to create them for you. All right. So uh, until next time, have a great day.